what was working well for you guys on defense today? Uh, it was much of the players were right on target with everything they were doing. They had a really good feel for them early. They got some turnovers. They fed off the turnovers. Uh, didn't do a lot of fancy things, a couple of new wrinkles, but mostly attributed to the players just doing a great job, understanding what they were trying to do. Uh, they really did a good job of picking up um, their keys early in the game. How did, how did Kenny look coming back um, from being dinged up last week? I thought he played really well. Um, he did a good job. Uh, I'm sure, you know, there's, there's angles and things like that he's going to get better on, but it was a good good game for him. They got, got some good work in. So, now look at the film and evaluate. Obviously, I liked him that interception. He didn't get in, but uh, I think he's a guy that came in. They, I think what happened to us this week was the way we prepared. You can sense on a Monday there was a sense of urgency, and they continued that throughout the week. Uh, even on the bus today, on the way over, I felt the um, urgency. Would you say that John Johnson is one of the most improved players in this defense this year? And, and Johnny, since he's the I keep telling you, he sits by me in meetings. He has to be. Yeah. I torture Johnny <laughs> every day. I get on about something. I think he's going to move his seat pretty soon. <laughs> but he really does. He sits by me in the meetings, and, and uh, he's not paying attention. I give him a whack all the time. So he's doing well. Uh, John, I guess he's come through quite a few injuries and some things, and he's. Um, understands the, the importance of playing every play and focusing on every play, and that's what we talk about with him. Being out for as long as he was with injuries uh, in his career, did it look like it took him some time to get more comfortable in games? I, I think so. You know, I think that the, the part, the, the way he works in practice, he works hard. But Johnny knows he's a guy that has to focus to get better and, and work at it, and he's, he's taken on that challenge. How satisfied was it to get a shutout? Was that a... Something to uh, point for, say, in the last quarter, uh, you think? No, I'm not a, I told you guys before, I'm not a stat guy. I just like what's in the left-hand column, and did you win, won the game. The kids played real happy for them. Uh, I guess the first uh, shutout away since, he said, 87 or something like that. But, you know, I feel I just, I'm happy for the players. We've got the win, and, um, you know, it's, it's a good thing. We can build on it. I'm sure that they're happy they got a shutout, but the bottom line to me is just that you win the game. You know, I always say losers are for stats, or stats are for losers because, you know, they just get to win. I mean, that's all that matters at the end. They don't ask you different things. They just want to see what's in that left-hand call. You guys control your own destiny in the Pac-12. Is, is that something you guys are talking about as a team, or is it just one game at a time? Well, I think Jim told him, he's, he's emphasized the fact that Coach Moore has told him that we've got, right now it's a three-game playoff. He said it was five when we started this thing, and now we're down to three games, and, and he started out by talking about it being a, you know, championship, five-game championship run, and, uh, you know, two down, three to go, and we'll have a tough challenge this week, Washington State coming into town. So, you know, it's going to be, uh, it's, you know, the, as hard as the players work all year, you watch what they do through the winter conditioning, the spring, the summer, San Bernardino. They put up with us, and then, you, geez, we're down to what? You know, what amounts to being, you know, they put 12 practices left and, you know, just three games. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Tom.